This is a very strange, strange feeling that last night we were here with the public for the first time under those circumstances and tonight with you and getting that kind of a response in New York City is a rather delicious feeling. I thank you very much for it. Now, if I can just put it into little jars and put it onto my shelf, I'd be very happy. We're here to share this evening with you, with all of the friends that have helped to make it possible, the people who work here, the people who helped to put it together, the managers, the agents, the musicians, the DJs, the neighbors, the delicatessens, the pizza parlors in this neighborhood and a lot of the nice people in New York City. It's a very, very strange feeling this evening, but we're going to join you in having a good time. We'd like to start the music with a man who's come a, become a personal friend over the years of mine, a lot of the people who work here and on the coast, who opened the place with us some three and a quarter years ago. One of the nice people in this business, Mr. Albert King. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very kindly. It's nice to be here. We're going to have a swinging time tonight. Are you listening? I said, can you hear me? This is the night to let yourself go. Yeah. 
I mean, like, you do your own thing. Uh-huh. If you feel like you want to get up and shake a leg, get on up and shake a leg. Uh-huh. And if you feel like you want to get close to your main squeeze, grab him or grab her and go ahead and do your thing. Are you ready? I can hear you. Are you ready? to be some changes made. Take your place. You won't cook my breakfast. You won't wash my dirty clothes. And when I come home every evening, you want to throw for me off the hose. to be some changes made. Because you think you're so wise. But I found another girl to take your place. If you don't like my peaches, you don't have to shake my tree. You go out and stay all night, woman, and you think it ought to be all right with me. I'm here to tell you. I say it's got to be some changes made. Because you 
Unless you think you're so wise But I found another babe to take your place Work hard to save up fifteen hundred dollars or two thousand dollars to pay down on a brand new motorbike or a new Grand Prix, and they'll strike on the job. Yeah. You say, well, they'll go back to work in the next couple of months. You riding around in this Grand Prix and your main squeeze sitting up there beside you, you know, and you're looking good. Are you listening? And then after the second month, you talk to your union man. He said, "Well, I think we're going to be out for another two months." Well, by this time, the finance man is looking for you. Are you with me? You'll hide the car for two weeks. In the third week, he'll catch up with you. He'll pull the old heap on in, you know. Some people call it my ride, you know. So you'll go home and say, "Well, I'll borrow some money from my friend and I'll catch up these back notes and I'll ride again." You go to your friend and they ain't got no money. Then you go home and you don't want to talk to nobody. Maybe your mother, your dad, or your friend will come over and say, "Hey, look at yes, sir. Come on, let's go out tonight." You say, "Well, I don't feel up to it tonight. So maybe tomorrow night, come to me. I might go out with you." You know. So maybe the next morning, breakfast will be ready, and your mother say, "Come on down, Junior, or son, and get your breakfast." Oh, I'm not hungry, mother. You know that old blues thing got you. You don't know what it is, but 
You say, this ain't my day, I don't feel good. Some people use the word, you know, this ain't my day, uh, I really got a, had a bad day, you know, I'm going to have a bad day. But I want to ask the same thing. It's nothing but the old-fashioned country blues done grabbed you because you can't get your ride back. That's all it is. And that's the reason I said you don't have to be 50 years old to have the blues. I ain't seen my main squeeze in, in two weeks today now, and I know I got it.
I want to do everything I can for you I want to be your personal manager, baby I want to do everything I can for you you little girl When all of your so-called friends are through If you sign my contract baby All your worries is over for you If you sign my contract, babe, all your worries is over for you. Yeah, I want to be your milkman every morning. Your ice cream man when the day is through. Thank you. 
took him all of the business So you can stay at home You can rush for sure to go I won't let nothing go down wrong I want to be your personal manager, baby I want to do everything I can for you Man, every morning. The ice cream man when the day is Would you welcome, please, one of the happy sounds in music today, Edgar Winters White, Trash. We don't uh, mean to slow the show down or anything, but we'd just like to say a couple of words before we start. We, uh, 
We're certainly privileged to be here at the last night of the Fillmore. And we wanted to make a few dedications before we started. First of all, we wanted to dedicate our show to a very lovely lady and her husband. They came here, have never been out of Louisiana, and they came here on their first plane trip all the way to New York. It's John Smith's grandmother. And she is responsible for naming our group White Trash. We'd like to welcome her. And we also want to dedicate our portion of the show to Bill Graham and all of the Fillmore family that have been so nice to us here. And also to rock and roll that's going to live forever. Rock and roll!
Don't you know I need you, darling? Baby, I need you to get me. Oh, somebody gotta get me. Baby, why don't you get me? Oh, you gotta get me. to get me
want you people here tonight. Lord, I want y'all. You got to get it on. Yeah, you do. For my first epic album, Tobacco Road. Oh, 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 oh,
calls your home, calls your my home, calls your my home. <laughs>
shine on me. It's going to shine on you. Thank you. 